Corner. Today I have Labria Brown. She is a very good friend of mine and I've known her for years. So um, I know about her history with dysfunctional relationships and with <laughs> just going through the tides, the highs, the lows. And I just really wanted to bring her on the channel to really just speak to you guys about her experiences with all kinds of men, y'all. Like I'm talking baby daddies, not her baby daddy, but you know, <laughs> men that had babies. Um, I just wanted to use this to just really just pour into you guys and also just use her experience as well to really minister to you guys and like just where she is now and how God helped her heal and just um, yeah what she's doing now so let's just get into that. So yes Crystal about two years ago as you already know I, I was know. dating this guy and um, the heartbreak really brung me to Christ. God's grace to him now but he would do everything under the sun. Lie, cheat, he even had a baby. Bruh. It was very hard. The relationship was very hard. And I remember going through that heartbreak, feeling like I wanted to die, feeling like suicidal, feeling like no one was there for me, feeling like my only best friend in the whole wide world was deceiving me. I felt like I couldn't trust men. It was a very heartbreaking experience. And as I'm revisiting it right now, I can just feel how God brought me through that. So how did the dysfunction in that relationship affect you? Like, how did it, what did it make you do? Like, how did it make you react to people, to him, just in life in general? Yeah, and so after, or within the dysfunction in that relationship, um, I just graduated from Sam Houston State, but at the time I was a sophomore in college, and so I wouldn't want to be in class. I would cry throughout class. I would not go to class sometimes, or I couldn't go to work, or I didn't really interact with people because of the hurt that that relationship had caused me or was causing me at the time. I actually wanted to fight people. I wanted to fight him. I tried to tase him. I tried <laughs> not tase. You know I got that taser. I know you And mean. it was one night I remember in particular that I drove by his house and I called Crystal. <laughs> I was like, Crystal, I'm about to slash his tires. And Crystal was like, no, like, no, no. It. it had to be like 2 in the morning. Crystal was really patient with me when I was coming to Christ. Like, she was very, very patient throughout that relationship. And um, there were times where I even tried to go back. <laughs> yeah. I tried to go back a lot. I would compromise. I'd be like, yeah, you know what? God is leading me mm. out of this. But then feel like, well, no. Like, I, I love, love this. Him. I love him. I love, I him. love this person. So I'm called to love. Mm -hmm. So let's go love on him. You know, that's how <laughs> I felt. And so I realized that that's not what God wants for me. He mm -hmm. doesn't want my compromise. He wants my obedience. Uh -huh. And so I had to learn. <laughs> that's a word. Yes, I had to learn that. And my breakup actually did bring me to full obedience and full faith in Christ. Yeah. yeah and it also helped you discern between god's love and then the world's love yeah most Be definitely. yeah because the world's love is dysfunctional you uh -huh. know um it's high low high low it has no rooting it has no footing it has right. no foundation i think that you know you've experienced that out of christ love and then what love looks like when god is in the right. midst of it so for women that are experiencing um dysfunction in their relationships right now with men what advice would you give them um, if you're experiencing dysfunction in your relationship right now with men, I would encourage you to align that relationship with the Word of God. Go and seek scripture and see what God thinks of you and see what He says about you. See how He says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. See that mm -hmm. you are virtuous and you are more precious than rubies. Go look up those things that God thinks about women and see if that man that you're with aligns with those things. Mm -hmm. If not, then... <laughs> I don't understand or I don't advise you to stay in that relationship because you deserve to be washed with the water of the word. You deserve to be in a relationship that's intentional and purposeful. You don't deserve to be in something that you that's up in the air. You don't know mm -hmm. where it's going. You don't know what it's leading to. A man of God is purposeful. Mm -hmm. He's intentional what he wants. And he knows that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So get out of that. Yeah. Stop putting yourself through that. Yeah, that's good. So in the midst of all of this, how did you find your healing? How did you, when did you realize it was time to leave? When did you realize enough was enough? When did you realize you were no longer going back and wanting to continuously, you know, um, seek out this guy to show you this love that you were yearning for? When did you know that it was just over? Um, I knew that it was over when um, one night I was on my floor, actually on the floor crying hysterically, like 
screaming and I just felt like I couldn't catch my breath and I felt like I was when I say it felt like death <laughs> it felt like I was done and I was like this isn't good for me my head was hurting my eyes were swollen I couldn't open them and I was just like this isn't healthy and this cannot be the purpose for my life and I want better for myself mm -hmm. and I decided that I didn't want to go back to that like this person doesn't love me this cannot be love and um yeah so when did you realize you were selling for this guy when did you realize you were just like overlooking his life and what he does just to be with him when did you realize that well when I found out that he was cheating and then mm -hmm. I found out that he had um a child on the way um I was still like it does I don't care I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna be down and that's what's up like I'm I'm his I'm down I'm gonna be his stepmama like <laughs> it's okay because he mine and then the mom the baby's mom would pop up in our lives a lot um and confront me and I still felt like it was okay and I would watch him disrespect her and I just felt like man like I'm really selling I'm having joy about my man disrespecting the mother of his child mm. what does that say about me and what he can do to you and what he can do to me as well because yeah. that could have easily been me yeah. as well i was doing the same things mm -hmm. with him and i was accepting it man it's, it's heartfelt yeah it is hard <laughs> to talk about because it because you, know? you realize you know you don't realize how not how crazy but like how how poor are choices once were, you know, yeah. like, wow, like God really brought me a long way. God really had his way in my heart because yeah. if he didn't, you may have ended up, you know, as stepmama and baby mama, you know. God forbid. <laughs> no, seriously. God. So just thank God for grace. Thank God for allowing you to like, you know, move on and do better things. So where are you now? Like, where are you now in life? Man, um, God has been so good. And I know that that sounds cliche, but he really has at one point i was very sexually active in my life but now i lead an abstinence group that's good and it has been very awesome um to see that grow and to see that my desire for purity to grow as well to see that it's not about oh i'm just not having sex but it's about i want to honor god my life and body mm -hmm. and so that has been amazing and i also just became a missionary for um, my church as well and so I'm really excited about that so um, I will be on campus of my uh, the university I just graduated from talking to students about Jesus and his the redeeming power of his love and so I'm excited about that as well yeah and I think her story as well just you know even like just your life you know your life just being your testimony I think that's powerful I feel like God planned it out perfectly because you know I feel like you had to go through this heartbreak you had to go through that process um, for him to refine you mm -hmm. and for you to learn from those experiences and for that to push you for, to want better for your mm -hmm. life you know I think a lot of times we don't really understand the purpose of heartbreak but I think I once read a tweet that said you know God isn't worried about hurting us you know right. if it's for our growth right you know her you know you being comfortable and you growing god's gonna choose you growing over you being comfortable right. any day so right. i feel like as christians we have to remember that um as a child of god you have to remember that you know that what you may be going through may not feel good but it's good for you and i feel like god is using that and working it together so that future purposes you know you can use that as your testimony you can use that as how god helped you through the situation you can use that as your story you know your story to share with other women like labria lead small group you know she's in mission work she's literally in seminary right now so it's just like who would have thought you know labria of three years ago fighting people uh <laughs> running around with men that were just not for her <laughs> Um, would be here today and that's just how God writes our stories. We don't have perfect pasts. Right. We don't, you know, God uses broken sinners. God uses vessels that are willing and I feel like Labria got to that point where she was on her floor like God like this is it like I don't want this anymore you know this is not good for me this guy is not for me he doesn't love me well and just her yearning that true love that God can only give you um so I just think that it's an amazing story it's, it's very powerful you know just her life in general um yeah I think it's just awesome what she's doing um if you would like to donate to her support funding you can do that I will link her 
information in the description bar below so you can check it out um, learn more about her as well all her information is there what she's doing who she is I think your bio is there too right mm -hmm. yeah. so her bio is in it too so you can just learn about her and stalk her on Instagram or Twitter or wherever she is um, so yeah thank you so much for being on the show yeah, today thank you thank I you no problem Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on Crystal's Corner. Bye.